Only on Local 10 tonight, the Hollywood Police Department is doing something no other department in South Florida has done. It is the first to use a 3D virtual reality training simulation. Our crime specialist, Bridget Matter, got to try it firsthand. She shows us how the technology is keeping officers trained up. It looks like a video game. Officers are en route to you. But what you're watching is a Hollywood Police Department recruit in a virtual active shooter simulation. Where's the shooter? 10 4, two suspects down. I'm holding on the second suspect. 10 4, do you hear any more gunshots? Are there any more shooters? No, there's no more shooting. It's called Apex Officer. Hollywood Police is the only department in South Florida using this advanced training tool. I control the scenario here, I can control the environment, the weather. Um, what weapons are being used. Officer Juan Monterosa works behind a computer choosing from more than one million real life training scenarios officers may face in the field. Can you see clear? Yeah. I gave it a try, an active shooter situation, and the instructor you see behind me is preventing me from running into a wall. It felt so real and intense, I couldn't finish the scenario. Oh my God, this is wild, wow. Initially, you came up good and you, you know, wanted to engage. You got a guy running there in the chaos in the middle of the crossfire. Right now, training is done in the department's range, but this tool can be used in a 30 by 30 area. This retails for about $130,000. Hollywood police purchased it on a grant. The department has three sets, which include the VR headset, backpack and other accessories. Man, put the weapon down. This allows for multiple officers to train together. The software also shows trainees exactly how they did in the scenario. And they can watch it back and they actually get to see what they did wrong and they can correct it for the next time around. The three-dimensional virtual reality replaces the outdated 2D limited training many officers are used to. The department officially rolled out Apex officers to its first group of recruits in October. There will be department-wide training on a regular basis. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.